welcome to my vlog. Update number five, four, five. <laughs> I'm not sure how long have I been here by now. <laughs> um, I think five. So update number five. The guys that were waiting for approvals for the diving uh, hostel took a while, but eventually they got the approvals and they left. They are now there, they're safe, they've been through all the health checks um, and they're all good so if they're good it means that all of us here are good which is already a good news. Before they left, uh, Rachie, one of the girls from the office which was amazing and during the time up, after the festival ended and we were all quarantined here organized uh, different activities for all of us. With the help of Luke, the kitchen manager, they both succeeded to arrange this um, cool sports day. It was really funny. I was one of the cheerleaders. cheerleader. We run especially after the knee surgery, um, or at least I don't want to risk it. Not in, not in this place, especially uh, to run with flip flops or bare feet in a ground that is not solid and straight. Uh, I don't want to take the risk now. Because if I get to a hospital or any of us get to a hospital now with Corona, we cannot come back here. Before the festival, I left a bag in Salinas, which is a hostel that I stayed before coming here. And I was supposed to stay there a couple of days after coming here. And in my bag, I had an epilator. I, I feel like a human again. Oh, I know it's the 21st century, but I don't like seeing my legs hairy. One of the guys came to tell me that the local people that are here with us put some salsa so I couldn't give up on that and I went to dance some salsa with one leg monkey one leg human <laughs> It was a great day and a great evening, but then at the end of it, one of the girls put a song, which, to be honest, I don't think anyone enjoyed other than her. One of the guys went to change it, and she got angry and threw sand at him. He got insulted. He was part of organizing the, the fun day, and, and he did commentary, and just wanted to make everybody happy before he leaves and then him getting sent thrown at him is not a pleasant situation to be in and I've seen him hurt so I went to talk to him on one hand he said that he doesn't need want to talk and then he kept saying stuff of what he's going through so I didn't know I decided to stay and tell him like that you know if he wants to talk then then yeah and then he said that he he does want to talk about it, but he doesn't want to talk about it with me. Uh, and I said, it's fine, um, I understand like that we're not really friends and you want to talk about, about, if you want to talk about something, you want to talk about it with your friends and it's okay. He tried to not insult me, but I wasn't insulted and he kept saying, no, it's not about you, it's not about uh, you being my, my friend or not. Um, it's not like that. Not everybody are friends. Not everybody are close friends. For me, I know that when it comes to having close friends in here, well, I had about two, maybe. Um, well, I'm talking about two close friends from the, the people that were left here. So I, I understand that and I'm, I'm not insulted. Not everybody are feel close to everyone and that's, that's okay. It's human, it's, it's, it's natural. It was a bit of mixed messages, but you know, it, it happens during these times. And he got angry um, about the fact that people don't clean after themselves. And there were loads of cups with drinks in front of him and he just threw those cups. And one of those cups was of one of 
another girl that was sitting next to him on the other side, one of his friends, and she took her cup and she was really angry that he threw her drink. And the little bit that was left in her drink, she threw at him, but because I wasn't behind him, it went on me as well. She went and got him a drink and her a drink, and they were joking about it, but at no point they came uh, that evening and apologized to me. I came to see if he's okay, and eventually I'm just getting ricochets of anger. It was just hurtful. I went to a bench in here that I showed the other video, that it's my favorite place, and come down and, well, try to come down, which came out as crying me crying of thinking I do not want to give up on humanity just because one case. I don't want to give up on being nice to everyone just because one time that I was nice to someone and it didn't turn out. It didn't turn out. Well, if I see someone hurt, I can't leave them. I will come and check how are they. And if it comes to the fact that it kind of smacks me back in the face, then I have this first instinct of you know what, I don't want to help anyone, I don't want to check on anyone, I just want to take care of myself and that's it. Specifically with that person, it was not just that time, it was um, a few times before though. Then I was about to go back to the office and I've seen him sitting on the table with her and talking to uh, one of the takedown managers in here. I was coming from behind them so I just came and, and told them that it's not fair that he was hurt by someone and then by that he hurt someone else. Got into the office, was talking to my sister, basically crying to her about the, what's going on in here and I was really upset. Another girl from here came inside the office to the first aid kit and um, was about to take the medicine. I was out of focus talking to my sister and I was upset and then I was I got angry at her at something which was unjustified and felt really shit about it. She summoned me like that and she called um, Amit and Amit came and sat with me. Hurt people hurt people. So it was about a chain of five hurt people hurting another person because they were hurt from another person. I already gave her an apology and eventually the day after they came and apologized to me and um, I don't know if the girl that threw sand at the first guy and started that chain apologized I don't know if she had another part before that in the chain that we're not aware of weirdly enough the thing that made me happy eventually was drawing a smiley face that smiley face made me laugh a lot it's the simple things that make me laugh it's something that I need to learn more. I'm hurt to not hurt another person and to know that I need to be by myself, calm down, um, and not in a place that other people can, can come and see me like that and catch me like that off guard and that they will get the ricochets of me being hurt by someone else. But I think it's a human thing. We all, we all get to, to, we all have those moments. Um, especially in situation like this, that it's kind of like a pressure pot. I don't know if you use that term in English. That's my update for now. See you on the next vlog.